Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Rich Guzman and welcome to Ace and Rich Freedom by Design. Hi guys, this is Anastasia Ace Holdridge. How are you guys doing? And uh, today we have a brand new video with a brand new question and check this out. Hey Ace and Rich, how do you stop negative thoughts about yourself? Ah, uh, that's a good one, huh? That is a good one. Yeah. Um, oof, you want to go first on this one or should I? Actually, why don't you go first? I'll go first. Yeah. Um, well... I'm glad you asked this question because this is something that many people deal with on a daily basis, especially in entrepreneurship. And, and I find this about myself as well. When I first started, I kept dealing with this battle in my mind all the time of, you know, is this going to work? Am I going to be able to, you know, succeed in this? Am I even going to make any money? Am I going to get paid? You know, when am I going to get paid? I mean, all kinds of, <laughs> all kinds of crazy thoughts come into your head. And then when you finally feel like you're going to do something, like I know what you're going through. You feel like you're not up 100%. Like you don't feel like you're giving it your all. And you know what? It's totally normal. It's a shift. Yeah. It's called a shift. Yes. And this shift is from an employee mindset into an entrepreneur mindset. Very good point. Very and that's point. what happens. And you know what? You're so used to this whole clock in and clock out and being told what to do and you know you're used to that you know somebody breathing over your shoulder and watching you but when you become an entrepreneur that's when those negative thoughts start to hunt you know to, to haunt you and then you're, you're not being watched no more you're not being told what to do you actually have to tell yourself what to do yeah. you actually have to take the initiative and become disciplined in doing things that you've never done before by yourself without being told what to do. So these negative thoughts, they're just thoughts. That's all they are. They have no power over you unless you allow them to control mm -hmm. your day. Okay? So my best advice to you to stop the negative thoughts, start reading positive personal development. I'm talking about get books about mindset, stuff that's like self-help, self-development that's going to keep you constantly fed positive energy good good information we call it food for the brain yeah. okay you want that kind of stuff you want to know if somebody else is successful i want to know what they're doing in their day to keep their day going that's the kind of stuff you listen to like in another video if you want to go back we talk about personal development a little bit and, and what we recommended like and what, what we recommend yeah we drop names and everything. we drop names we like. go after those names get books get audios go to youtube free stuff get that stuff and listen to it download it to your phone and listen to it because that stuff is going to keep you fed all the time to get through the negativity. Oh, that's... I don't know if I have anything else to say. <laughs> I know, right? You're always um, going first, but then they're like, hey, this is a little quiet. No, <laughs> this ain't that quiet. <laughs> no, well, here's, here's no. the thing, guys. I'll, I'll give you my interpretation of it. And uh -huh. I'll give you 100% everything you said. Um, you know, our brain likes to fool us, right? Our brain likes to tell us that we can't do something and it seems impossible. And I came up with a philosophy a while back and I said, nothing is hard, it's just different. How could something be hard if you never really did it before? Right. It's just foreign and it's different. So therefore our, our minds and our brain will tell us like, well, who do you think you are? I mean, what makes you think you could do something like that? Um, and it's like, well, no, because if I've seen somebody else do it and they're a human being and they have flesh and they bleed just like we do, um, they just made a decision to change their life, to develop new skills, and learn a whole different way of thinking, and also learn how to create results in their life, right? So, this has always been my philosophy of like, how could I push past those negative thoughts? I used to get them all the time, guys, and and I and if I was, you know, honest, with, I mean, I'm being honest with you right now. There's different levels we're heading into our business and our life, mm. and there's still always and once in a while it hits us yep, and it's like oh true. what makes you think you could actually you gotta keep it real right it yeah happens. what makes you think you could achieve like this level or something like that yeah. like, let me tell you something um i've achieved great levels and i'm about to achieve even greater levels see that's the attitude you have to have right because automatically your brain's gonna not associate with it because it is unfamiliar to believe that it is possible okay does that make sense because I can get really deep into psychological things and how much your brain does. Um, because if you don't think about it in your own mind, like, this is what I want and this is how I want it, then your brain's going to take over and it's always going to, you know, pretty much run your life. Okay? And, uh, you yeah. know, I, I learned that a long time ago. I mean, yeah. this is really powerful and stuff. And just really quick before we go, you know, uh, as I was saying, listening to the personal development, 
Don't just listen and get stuck in that learning mode and just constantly fed. Take action because without having those two elements together to work in conjunction, yeah. it's not going to help you. You're going to yeah. constantly have negative thoughts because even successful people, even the world's most successful people go through it. And what oh, do they yeah. do? They take action. They, take they do action. things to keep their body moving. And mo a body in motion stays in motion yeah. And a body at rest stays at rest. You don't want to be sitting still. Yeah. If you're going to be doing stuff to filter out the negativity, go run, walk, you know, go visit somebody, you know, put that attention out there for some someone else. Get it off of you from what you're feeling and do something good. Go smell the flowers. Absolutely. Right? Smell the flowers yeah. like I do. Every time I go to the grocery store, I smell the flowers. <laughs> that, and that's it feels, what she likes to do. Yeah, remember? Yeah. Right? I but, still do it. Yep. So so I just want to just let you know that mm -hmm. that you're not alone. Um, in this journey, uh, we're all in it together and, um, we are striving to achieve greatness within us. Okay. Whether it's life, personal relationship, uh, business, you know what I mean? We're all in this together, right? And understand that whatever you decide to do, it is totally possible. Uh, you know, and, and the end result, of course, you know, you make money and things like that, uh, when it comes to business, but understand this. If you focus on the result, like I always said, and you get better at those skills, you get even more results. And it's like a stepping stone, a stepping ladder, just like going up the mountain, right? Same thing. Just take it one step at a time. You know, keep focused. Don't let your mind control or your brain control what you want. Because yep. your brain will keep you stuck because it becomes... This is important. Because if, if, if it becomes familiar, okay, and, and you're stuck in a certain habit, the brain goes to that same habit because it feels safe, because it's what it knows, all right? This is some deep stuff, guys, that I've studied about personal development in a physical way. Your brain will keep you stuck. Will keep, literally keep you stuck because it's familiar and it wants to stay safe, okay? So only way to, to escape that is like what you said, start thinking differently, right? Start thinking like, you know, an entrepreneur does, personal development, all those things, and you will learn to think differently. So when those thoughts start coming, you are more aware of those thoughts and you're like, you know what? I know what that is. It doesn't exist. It is not reality. My brain is trying to make it reality. It's not reality. My reality is what my mind tells me, what I want to be, and what I want to do. So, with that being said, with that being said, if you have any interesting questions you like Ace and Rich to ask and answer, actually answer <laughs> on the next video, please post them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. You guys are sending us some awesome questions. Yes. And, uh, we're learning a lot that, about each other. <laughs> yeah, not only that, um, we've been getting a great overwhelming response, um, you know, from the community and uh, Facebook, Twitter, all over the place, what we've been doing. And uh, we just want to appreciate, you know, appreciate the, the love and the feedback you've been giving us. Thank you. And uh, there'll be more videos coming up. We have a lot of questions. More to come. And uh, we're going to, you know, talk about some topics, you know, as well. So, um, and we're going to go over some training, too, which is really cool. All right, guys. <laughs> alright guys so um, we'll talk to you soon you guys have a great day I know this video is a little bit long but when it comes to mindset personal development um, we, we gotta give we it get to you. deep yeah, yeah <laughs> we gotta give it to you so okay. we will see you on another video very soon appreciate you and love you take care bye